this has literally become my religion so simple not complicated the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words the father is my name is Andrew Hemstraw thank you for joining us if this is your first time here make sure you subscribe if this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you then consider becoming a partner with us I preach from the room of Holy Ghost worship not everyone does not everyone worships the Holy Ghost John chapter 4 and verse 24 says God is a spirit and what God would this be talking about the Holy Ghost God is a spirit and they that worship him so there's a they that worship him which implies that there's a they that don't making a difference between the two they that do and they that don't and they that worship him must they continue on must worship him in spirit and in truth but if you don't begin to worship him god the spirit you will never get to listen you will never get to worshiping him in spirit and in truth there are things that will be left unaware to you but worshiping the Holy Ghost has afforded me truths that I couldn't have before they weren't accessible to me this reminds me of a poem by Robert Frost two roads diverged in a yellow wood and I took the one less traveled by and that has made all the difference some choose to worship the Holy Ghost as God they that and some choose to not choosing this road listen choosing this road of worshiping the Holy Ghost as God has made all the difference now of course in here worshiping him you're going to have to let go of some of the other things that were on that other road and yes this is a less traveled road Luke chapter 4 verse 8 this is Jesus talking it is written thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve so here this is jesus saying you're supposed to worship the lord your god well in john chapter 4 verse 24 we read god is a spirit and they that worship him here jesus is reaffirming that thou shalt worship the lord thy god the spirit lord right god is a spirit you worship him the lord our god and him only say and him only people like to criticize me when I say I worship you Holy Ghost only here is where we get that him only do I serve I have found that speaking in agreement with him the Holy Ghost is an act of worship in speaking in agreement with his word is an act of service and is an act of worship so yes we worship you Holy Ghost only but then we speak in agreement with his word and here in is walking it out daily speaking in agreement with his word is how I walk with him and it's how I worship him and it's how I serve him now every word of God has the ability within itself to bring itself to pass if you will say it Isaiah 55 verse 11 so shall my word be 
that goes forth out of my mouth it shall not return unto me void but it shall accomplish that which i please and it shall prosper in the thing whereunto i sent it what shall accomplish what shall prosper his word sent how do you send a word you say a word so shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth it what is that the spoken word the spoken word shall accomplish that which he pleases the spoken word shall prosper in the thing whereunto he sent it so you have to speak God's Word and when you're speaking God's Word you're in agreement with God the Holy Ghost it's an act of worship it's an act of service mark chapter 4 verse 26 so is the kingdom of god as if a man should cast seed into the ground and should sleep and rise night and day and the seed should spring and grow up he knows not how for the earth brings forth fruit of herself first the blade then the ear after that the full corn in the ear here we have a man casting seed which is the word of god into the ground and the seed the word grows up and produces that which was in itself that's my point the seed doesn't produce something else the seed the spoken word of god produces that which it said it accomplishes it prospers let the speaking of god's word change you let the speaking of god's word change you into the thing said that's what it's designed to do this has literally become my religion worshiping the holy ghost i worship you holy ghost and him only serving speaking in agreement with his word being changed into the thing said so simple not complicated this is not how i walked with god before pre holy ghost worship that's what i say i am now a holy ghost worshiper but i was just like you walking in all the major doctrines of the church but in here i worship you holy ghost i have learned that things are much simpler than all of that the holy ghost is god in the earth today and we walk with him by saying words well i have made up my mind i'm going this way i've come too far to go back to all those other old ways that don't work i choose to go this way worshiping the holy ghost and walking with him by saying words and you have to realize not everyone is going to run as fast as you are in fact some will run back to what they used to do not being comfortable out here in such stark simplicity walking with the holy ghost i worship you holy ghost only and speaking his word but listen if you get it this way it will never be taken from you hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6 for he that comes to god must believe that he is right that's the first thing so you're coming to god who is god in the earth today you have to come to this knowledge who is the only part of the godhead in the earth today it's not jesus jesus was raised from the dead and then rose from the earth and is seated at the right hand of the father and shall return the angels in acts chapter 1 verse 11 said this same jesus will come back in like manner and he hasn't done that yet which means he's not here 
the father and jesus sent the holy ghost to be with us in the earth and the holy ghost is god and he's the one with us in the earth today he that comes to god must believe that he is believe that he is what believe that he's god but also believe that he is exists and he is present in the earth today are you here this isn't that difficult he that comes to god must believe that he is and say and and that he the holy ghost is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him we must believe that he is and that he rewards us what is he rewarding us with those things spoken that's what we're believing i'm believing he is i worship you holy ghost and i believe you are rewarding me as i diligently speak in agreement with your word it's so simple say it's so simple this has become my religion how did i get here jesus got me here blame him he's the one who said i'm gonna go away and send another and if i don't go away i won't send the another well he did and now the another is here i believe he is and that he rewards me say i believe he is and he rewards me how does he reward you when you speak diligently in agreement with his word welcome this is the way so you who are going this way and are going this way with me and have found the pure simplicity with walking with god in the earth today i ask you what are you saying what verse are you saying that he's rewarding you with you're worshiping him and he's rewarding you with what should i say what verse should i say i'm glad you asked here's a suggestion if you needed one first timothy 6 17. charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded nor trust in uncertain riches but trust in the living god who gives us richly all things to enjoy who is the living god who is alive and god that would be living right living god he's alive he's got he is holy ghost the holy ghost is the living god he is we believe that and who gives us richly all things to enjoy i worship you holy ghost you are the living god you give me richly all things to enjoy living god gives me richly all things to enjoy what if i begin saying that listen if you begin saying that you will begin walking with god the holy ghost the living god and him giving you richly all things to enjoy would you enjoy walking in healing how about health can you enjoy walking in health living god gives you richly all health to enjoy is health a thing how about houses are houses a thing living god gives me richly all houses to enjoy say it living god gives me richly all houses to enjoy is having your debts paid off a thing living god gives me richly all debts paid off to enjoy is prosperity a thing living god gives me richly all prosperity to enjoy where does this go it goes to all things richly if you will begin saying these things you will know the holy ghost as the living god who gives you richly all things to enjoy 
so you want to pick a verse I pick that verse can you see where this goes well the new manifestation of the Spirit covers everything covers all the affairs of life a whole new reality opens up unto you in here in where in this room of worshiping the Holy Ghost as God and walking with him by speaking in agreement with his word a whole new reality you enter into it but I believe he is and rewards me see I believe he is and he rewards me and I am NOT the same as I was before and I am NOT the same as those who don't worship him that's one of the first things you do when you enter into this room is you have that awareness that this is not the same thing I was doing before if you think it is then you're trying to bring everything else in with you we're not talking about bringing everything else in with you we're talking about leaving all the other stuff behind worshiping the Lord your God and him only serving reminds me of the parable of the ten virgins in Matthew chapter 25 remember there were ten virgins and they were going out to meet the bridegroom and they brought along their lamps but some people so they all were virgins they all had lamps but some of them didn't have oil and when the call came at midnight they all got up and they went out but the ones who didn't have the Holy Ghost say the ones who didn't have the Holy Ghost couldn't light their lamps they couldn't see where they were going they couldn't keep going down that path it was a different path they couldn't see and so they were told to go back start over go get some oil well when they had gone away then the bridegroom came notice these virgins these people on this journey didn't have any other baggage did they it was very simple just a lamp a lamp in the Holy Ghost all they had was the Holy Ghost are you here and then the bridegroom came it was very simple well in this room I worship you Holy Ghost I have learned that everything is much simpler than it used to be the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and we walk with him by saying words Holy Ghost I thank you for blessing these people that have heard your word this evening and as they've heard this word things begin to fall off of them so that they're not trying to bring all their old baggage along they leave it behind and they walk with you in simplicity Holy Ghost God in the earth today and are being rewarded by the words that they speak in agreement with you we worship you Holy Ghost we thank you for it in Jesus name amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost I worship you I thank you that you are God in the earth today and that you reward me as I speak in agreement with your word you are the Living God and you richly provide me with all things for my enjoyment in Jesus name the Father is in heaven Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your